right, folks, here we go with round one. This is not the Eddie Bravo Invitational. This is the UFC and two of the more decorated Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu black belts we have in this or any division. Yes, in any division. We've never seen guys that can really incorporate the Jiu-Jitsu into fighting as we've seen this two do. But who's going to make a mistake? Who's going to leave an arm out there to get grabbed? Who's going to leave their neck out? Let's see when you put two great jiu-jitsu players together who can get their hand raised in the octagon. Oh, vicious kick to the outside of that lead leg. You gotta start shaking. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Whiffs on the right hand. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively, protecting his head, raising the guard, and really frustrating the offensive fighter a little bit. Lesson one in boxing class, hands up, chin down. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Big kick lands. Big shot lands. It's such a fast leg kick. Well, he keeps going back to the well with that left hand just out of range. Just over two minutes to go. Unable to connect there. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Glancing right hand lands upstairs. Oliveira's cheek looks like it's cut. Yes, it is. Starting to bleed a little bit now. Ooh, nice knee to the body. Very nice. And he's looking for that left hand. Just missed. Nice offering there by Tony Ferguson. We'll see if he can follow it up here, champ. I mean, he usually does. He does not let guys off the hook. Tony Ferguson is a guy that has a killer's mindset. When he gets you hurt, he's looking to finish. So just over 20 total strikes have now landed for Tony Ferguson. Big powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Just misses there with the left. The horn sounds for the end of round one. All right, what a five minutes it was, DC. Take us through the replay if you would. All right, round two is now upon us. Tony Ferguson and Charles Oliveira. Coming to the body is blocked. Caught the kick. He loaded up there on that high kick. Oh! Big knee to the body! there by Ferguson. He can truly do it all. All right, so he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations tonight. Well, the jab has been looking great. How about jab, jab, right hand? Right. Because eventually you're going to have to put something on your opponent that's going to really make him pause. I believe the jab has been working so well, if he drops a big right hand after it, he may be able to finish his fight. 45 total strikes have already landed for Charles Oliveira. Well, not 
the most efficient effort today. The numbers landing with 34% accuracy thus far against Tony Ferguson. Beautiful body kick. Able to land with the left hand. Oh, man, that cut is getting worse by the minute. Looking ghastly at this point. Just unable to quite find that range. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. And that one was heavy. Oh! Knee to the body. A oh, really good job by him there to raise the guard, DC, and block those shots coming his way. He does a great job of blocking all incoming strikes. Oh! Oh, he lands, he lands, and maybe time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got him hurt very bad on his head. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. Big knee to the body! That one is going to end the fight. Oh. <laughs> Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh! And now he lands a combination. What a fight. Just the way he drew it up as he gets the knockout victory here tonight, it's hard to land a strike more flush than he did right there, and I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming. So he'll see the replay and probably shake his head, but ultimately this is a huge result and a huge win for that fighter here tonight. All right, DC, no Telestrator tonight, but we're going to get you some highlights from this one. This was a fight that had it all, and for my money, his best performance to date. His best performance to date in the biggest moment. In the biggest moments, you got to show up, and that's exactly what he did tonight. He used